Well, could you talk a little bit about moving towards being a peer with Warren? Did you ever feel like a peer? Is that presumptuous to ask that? Um, I mean, you took over a teaching job you, at, at the same university mm -hmm. where Warren taught. And um, uh, I mean, you, um, you've been doing sales with Warren um, and taking over the organization of those. Um, yeah, yeah, the relationship I mean, I, changed. Warren came to all our fires. I mean, and he never, yeah, true. he never f made me feel like I was, you know, a, I don't know. I mean, he never treated me as a student. He always talked to me as a fellow potter after they graduated and were making pots. He would come and, and you know, I think part of it was his own curiosity and, and joy. But, I mean, he would, you know, there, there was no reason for him to come out and spend you know, two days at our place or hang out all night or, you know, come out for shifts. He'd come back and trim pots and come back out sometimes. And it's like, you know, you don't have to do, oh, no, I, I want to I wanna see these pots. I wanna, you know, but he, he, I think he just loved the process. And I, I think he, he talks, he talked often in his storytelling about sitting up with Bernard, mm -hmm. you and, he and, uh, you know, it, your yeah. mom, and that's probably what made the difference because the pots he brought to the Bernard Leach Potter to show him to try to get in as apprentices were pr probably pretty shitty pots. They were. They, and they were. and Bernard's like, mm, yeah, I don't have room for you. You know, maybe come back in a couple of years. But yeah. um, somehow he and Alex sat up on a shift with Bernard and talked, and he just like enjoyed the process of being there. And so he, there was he, a generational difference, but I but I think that the professional difference dissolved fairly early on you know once we once we were not students anymore I don't think there was this big um, I never felt a huge separation I always felt like you know the conversations with Reeve and Shirley and others was kind of somewhat peer-to-peer -peer. you know we all knew we were younger so when Warren came to Venezuela to teach a workshop and all of these people were just like, oh my God, it's Warren McKenzie, and he came to teach a workshop. And so Mr. McKenzie, you know, Mr. McKenzie, and it, 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 in a, with an expression of frustration, he said, please, Warren, you know? And, and he did, he had no uh, patience for reverence. You know, he didn't, he it would embarrass him if you treated him. I mean, I, I really do feel that there was a generational difference and, or, you know, I could never have ever felt that I was a peer of Warren's. You know, we were just kind of too far apart, I think, uh, generationally. But, but I never felt any reservation about what you could talk to him about. Um, yeah, he was... He was very transparent and honest. He was genuinely Genuine. humble. Genuine, yeah. I think the thing that was important was that he really truly believed that what he did was not, his ways were not better in that it would lead to putting down the ways of others. I mean, aside from kind of emotional discussions, but but that he believed strongly that what he did had value. You know, there were other people who did it other ways, but it was also very important for each student to find their own way. And he wouldn't criticize you for, if he wanted, he'd say he didn't want clones of himself.